Oh, I knew you'd like that. Delicious. Hey, Benwin. 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 Go be friends with that guy. Hmm. So I wander over to this tiefling. All right, he's there. Who orders 5,000 pounds of hamburger? <laughs> this day's getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, short dwarf? I am Valkar the Magnificent. Valkar, is your ale magnificent? My ale is not great, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's plentiful. Yeah. But my taste buds were burnt off in an accident years ago. Well, I... Along with my dignity. I just flew in from Fallcrest and bore my arms tired. <laughs> and I would like a sip of your ale. A Quench diplomacy this... check. A what? A diplomacy check. Sure, no problem. Or intimidate, if you prefer. Well, hold on. Let's take a look at intimidate. I'll intimidate. <laughs> That's more of a give me your goddamn ale. Yeah. <laughs> So I, yeah, I, uh, that's a, that's a 19. Excellent. No, excuse me, it's a 20. All right. So I say, trigger on the job, give me that fucking thing. All right. He's so startled, he sort of lets it go, but you catch it. Right. All right. And Take he, a little nip. Over your shoulder, he sees you. He says, Master Dartman. Valkar. You have deigned to return. High five. Whoa, too slow, Joe. <laughs> I get him every time with that one. He says, at least must be your friends. <laughs> they didn't say anything about friends. Listen, there's plenty of room. They can stay in my place. It'd be cool. Mm, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose he told you what he did to me. It's not important, so no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> did he? Let me, let me ask you a question, Valkar the Magnificent. He's not magnificent. <laughs> He's did right, he, I'm did not. He do, did he do something that ended with you at the bottom of a pool of acid? <laughs> if no, then not a fuck is given this day. <laughs> I was a magician at his sixth birthday party. <laughs> I was better than him at six. Says, you made fun of every trick I did. You said, that's not magic. It's true, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you wound me. <laughs> <laughs> Says, where's my flask? Oh, Aelfell took it. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> More like Aelfell. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't give him that. That's not what he needs. <laughs> and then uh, he says... And I've lost the receipt for all of these hamburger. I don't even know who ordered it. I am a worse butler than I am a magician. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he goes stumbling off somewhere. He's a good guy. Yeah. Free endless really. flask. Free endless flask for, for us. All right. for us. Friendship, friendship, Chip. drinking from the flask. I'd like you guys to put your figures in the grand foyer of the house, if you would. Anywhere is fine. Look at the that foyer huge ball is filled outside with of the house. Uh, you haven't had good luck with foyers. Oh, man. Well, so place, place foyers. gingerly. So, so this is the grand foyer. Is there a lesser foyer elsewhere? Uh, there are no fewer than six foyers in this house. <laughs> this is the only one with a gong. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I hate foyers. Why does it always have to be foyers? <laughs> There's well, a fire burning in the fire pit. My, my oh, Benway. you see the fire? Actually lights up, isn't that cool? I see it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and then there are stuffed, horrific animals sort of posed around the room. A yeah, dire will, wolf, a dire bear, and an owlbear. At a dramatically appropriate moment. <laughs> hmm. Yes. And uh, as you are settling in, there are a pile of crates sort of being piled up in the middle of the room. Uh, yeah, you can, you can smell the hamburger coming out through the wood. It, it smells raw, though, like it's uncooked. Robble, robble. You should go stand on top of that hamburger and have Jim set you on fire, and then it'll be like a hamburger barbecue. You or, no. Coming, 
coming down the stairs um, is a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> is she pretty? Yeah. He's got some sawdust oh. in his hair, but he's very good looking, like strapping and right. muscular and strong. If you're on vacation. You know. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Come on, vacation. New Hampshire stays in New Hampshire. He comes strutting down the stairs. And uh, you recognize him as... Dimsy. Dimsy. Dimsy Anwick. Dimsy Anwick. That's my name. Did you just almost say Dimsy Iron Chef? I did. You did? I totally did. <laughs> Dimsy Iron Chef. Today's special ingredient to our bear. <laughs> <laughs> and he says... Master Dark Magic. Good to see you, man. Hey, pal. What's up? You looking good? Yeah, I'm well, Dimsy. Thank you. I'm the, win win. I'm the handy dwarf. I'm, I'm a handsy dwarf. <laughs> oh. It happened fast. It, it happened so fast. Listen, careful with Dimsy. All right, just easy. Okay. Yo, you get right to it. Yeah. You want to go uh, bang some rocks? Uh, you don't. no. You don't. <laughs> I'm you know, on the that many of us. Unfortunately, I'm on the job. Come on. On the job later. Come on. You don't know what you're passing up here. No, after we win, you can go bang rocks all you want. All right. Later. Dimsy, cut him some slack. Give him some time to at least move his bags in. All right. I'm not pushy. I'll go put away my tool. Ooh. <laughs> But I'll be back for you later. Awesome. I want to see your jewels. Intense heat. <laughs> so much intense heat. Yes, it is rather warm here in New Hampshire. The humidity is a little deadly. It's not like the West Coast at all, where everything's comfortable and it sun shines every day. <laughs> you notice that as you're squatting near the hamburger, uh, that the family cat has also taken to this bounty that is arranged in the middle of the foyer. Mm. You know the family cat's name is Gygax. <laughs> Give him a little scritch. Yeah, and it's just like... <laughs> and then uh, it sees you and it comes up to you and it sort of you know, rubs its legs, no, its body right cats. the legs. And then you hate cats? Binwin hates cats. I love cats. They sell a lot of books. <laughs> you put a cat on a book, everybody wants to buy it. And then, surprisingly, it just springs up into your arms, Omen, <gasps> like right into your arms. It, it's, not, it's not agitated by the holy symbol? Not at all. All right. I, just, just to make sure, I press the holy symbol around at strategic locations. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> okay, all right, so it's good. It's a real cat. Like it's not some is fucking not crazy demon. sorceress cat. It's like cat. All right. It, is a re it seems, by all accounts, to be yep. a real cat. You can make a nature check, and that will assure you beyond you any reasonable doubt. I'm satisfied. I, just, I set him up on the shoulder okay. and just kind of let him hang out there, walk back and forth, okay. see what he needs. And Gygax the cat is happy to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sweet. All right, uh, so, but you notice that you haven't seen any members of the Dark Magic family yeah. anywhere. Hmm. 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 Uh, when you look up the stairs, Jimmy, you can see... where's your family? I don't care. <laughs> Did you get along with your family? Not especially. Ooh. Bad blood? A little bit. Okay. Would up the like stairs, about it? those of you who care can see a gigantic crystal ball. Like, it's bigger, it's taller than you are. Uh, sitting in this great ornate device and it's giving off all kinds of weird colors and energy and behind it are shelves like it's part of a library although surprisingly when you look up that those shelves used to be packed with all kinds of magical tomes that people read now they've been picked clean Did they change my room <laughs> it took all my posters down maybe maybe that's like a workout room or something yeah. you, also <laughs> you also notice that some of the furniture that you remember is gone hmm yeah, it's not quite like I remember it, guys. We had even more cool shit than this. <laughs> and then, uh, sort of 
coming out from an upstairs room and drifting down the balcony is this beautiful, charming, lovely girl with silver gray hair. She's human, but she seems to have gone completely silver gray in her youth, and she can't be more than 20 or so. And uh, My guess is that this is the Olivia mentioned on the magical ball. Yes, indeed. And uh, this, this absolutely busty, not bushy, young girl. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Reading is fundamental, Jerry. Seems I had a much different image in my head of her, yeah. actually. <laughs> it's busty, yeah. She seems Guys. to move with a great grace, like music just seems I, to play with it. every footstep. I'm trying. Sheave it. Sheave it. It's my cousin, dude. <laughs> I know, that's what's making it so awkward. And she stands on the balcony, and she says, Oh, Jim. Olivia. Remember when we used to kiss in your bedroom closet? Hey what? You sure you're not from Arkham, Hampshire? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that at all. That's, shut up. <laughs> That's dumb. I didn't do that. My brother Percival will be so pleased to see you. He wasn't expecting you at all. I'm sure. <laughs> Great. <laughs> He says, or she says, we are just waiting for the arrival of Mr. Khan to read our grandfather's will. Well, I'm ready for that part, and I'm out of here. <laughs> she says, who are your friends? Uh, this is my friend, Ullman. I'm his boss, actually. This is my friend, Benwin. How's it going? And this is my friend, Al. My name is A.O. Fell. She he, says, he just died. He's cool now, though. She says, do you have last names? El Romane. I'm sorry? El Romane. Well. <laughs> Master El Romane, man friend Sinjin, uh, welcome to our house. She says, there is something that I should mention to you because it might seem awkward later. My brother was cursed when he was a young boy by a member of the Wartstaff family. As a consequence, he can neither see nor hear Faye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind having that curse every once in a while. Yo, don't... <laughs> tell you this, don't ask, don't tell policy reads to anyone. <clears throat> she says, I hope you don't find it terribly awkward. Perhaps he won't find it terribly awkward if I don't acknowledge him either. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she says, the rest of the family has gathered in the dining room. All right, we'll go in there. Would you take my hand, Jin? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, she will graciously usher you past the hamburger crates into the dining room. <laughs> you can just put your figures in here. You might want to grab the other ones. Should I just save you some time and bring all the monsters in now? <laughs> <laughs> here is Olivia. She is going to sit next to Jim. Mm. I'll have her <laughs> sit. She can sit between. There we go. And I can ask incredibly awkward questions all through dinner. You notice that uh, standing in a corner here, n uh, watching you nervously as you come in, is a suit of armor. And its head sort of moves and squeals back and forth. Jim, when you come into the room, it starts to get really, really nervous. And it just starts to sort of shiver. <laughs> You used to torture Clatterby when you were a boy. Did I ever? Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. 